Hey guys, good morning. Look, I got a new job. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm on radio. We're about to go live. Slay Kings, what's up, man? Yeah. I'm representing the Slay Kings. Kings, yes. So do you have Slay King fans in your, you know, in the hood? Um, on your... I do, but they're yeah. not called Slay Kings. How do you, how do you call them? Uh, okay. Uh, one subscriber suggested yeah. that they want to be called Bosch Bots. Bosch Bots. Yeah. Like what Bosch and Bots. Yeah. I bet you this is like, this is like really pretty little boy. Dead love. She even has like doctors and like grown people with oh, families. Oh, for real? Yeah. Slay Kings with families. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Bosh, how do you say it again? Bosh bots. Bosh bots with families. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag creatives on the rise. We are vibing with Bosh and Maxin, uh, of course, right about now. And uh, real quick, um, I just wanna let me ask you something personal. Where do you see yourself in about six months, two years, five? Um, six months. That's about the end of the year ish. Yeah. Uh. There is a lot in store, maybe for six months I will not want to reveal yet. Okay. But um, for like 10 years, I'll definitely have my makeup line already up and going. Yeah. Hopefully by the time it's like 10 years, it will be international. 10 I years know. also, hopefully married with kids. Because <laughs> speaking yeah. of married with kids, everyone wants to know. Every other comment I read on your YouTube channel is, Wabosha, are you single? Uh, <laughs> let's hear you deny him. Put it out there. National Radio is about to be denied. Live on your YouTube. <laughs> live on your YouTube. <laughs> She's actually blogging the show, so live on your YouTube. Uh huh. Um, we shall not answer the question. <laughs> so, bro, if I was you, you guy, I just start looking for another chick. No, I think it's a guy. <laughs> I think I, I like this guy. You know why I like him? Because he lets you be you. He's like, no, do you, boo. Z. Do your thing. And nah. Because you know that Z. If, 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 they, if the dudes find out that Bosha has a guy right now, they'll never come to her channel. Bosha, Bosha. Uh, yes. If Drake was your boyfriend, <laughs> you would be telling us life like you're dating Drake. No, I wouldn't actually. Yeah. Because I mean, if you. <laughs> why are you gonna do this? Imagine I would yeah. not tell anyone. Yeah? Bro. Yeah, because once you start. You need to draw that line, like with YouTube and social media. Yeah. Because imagine if I was dating that Drake and then we break up. Yeah. You know, since I've been planting him all over YouTube, then I owe you guys an explanation as to but why. That's publicity still. Nah. You don't think of it like that. Nah. <laughs> so you say that you have young uh, subscribers on your channel. How does that make you feel, especially as a young female growing in this industry, in this world where we're trying to fight for our gender roles? What role do you feel you play in these young girls' lives? Um, honestly, sometimes it, I feel like it's a bit um, of pressure on myself because yeah. I have to like be inspiring to these people. But yeah. at the same time, people need to understand that I'm still human and I need to be allowed to make my own mistakes. Yeah. Then hopefully then those young girls can learn from those um, tiny mistakes that I'm making. So at the end of the day, I just really try to be as authentic as possible. I don't try to like lie about the journey and everything. I mean, once in a while you will fall, yeah. but it's how you get up that matters. Have you ever had like a bad mental breakdown from YouTube, like you just felt like, ah, I'm done no. with this. I never coming back yeah. on your screens, people. No, not, not, not yet. R not good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. What do you do? Like, do you pray a lot? Do you go, do you hit the gym? Do you work out? Still do karate? Yeah. What crew? centers you? Um. Yeah, I think I pray a lot. I have a very personal relationship with God. Nice. So I talk. I say that God is my G. We talk a lot. Nice. Like, yeah. All right, guys, hashtag creatives on the rise with Wabosha Maxin. Enjoy this one. Hands on me. Good morning. Yeah, you have a relationship with God. You're officially a G. <laughs> now you're officially way cooler than you are before. Wow, God, play squad. It's What's good? Good. Feasting badly. Kev Matara. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed listening to Wabosha. We love her. We love you guys. Uh, what? Hey guys, so I am finally done with the interview. It was really, really nice and interesting. And actually, this is the first day I'm going out with my bald hair, so <laughs> feeling a bit awkward. But yes, now I'm off 
for a meeting hey guys so i swear this vlogger life is like literally the most awkward thing ever i almost bumped into a door but yeah meeting done and honestly if i was alone i'd just head home but that wouldn't be much of an interesting vlog so i want to show you guys a really cool ice cream place that i found and i'm trying to save money because i've discovered i'm using uber way too much so like to the radio station i jabbed but to my meeting i can't lie <laughs> i took a cab because i didn't want i didn't know exactly where the place was so it's feeling a bit we had about jabbing and then i'd have to sit like in front there to make sure so yeah to go to town i want to go to diamond plaza so i'm in westlands i think it's like 10 bob or 20 bob to town so i'm going to do that and then i keep looking up here i swear filming with this camera is so new for me so yeah i'm going to head to diamond plaza so town then parklands and then i'm going to show you guys this really really cool ice cream place that I found so let's go okay so on my right side is the new diamond plaza and on my this other left side is the old diamond plaza so there is where we're going to go in through and I swear it is so awkward <laughs> vlogging like this everyone is looking at me okay so I'm going to go in because if I don't explain where it is exactly you won't get it so let's go in <laughs> trying to be incognito okay so here is the place it's called um, roll on roll and I'll show you guys the menu so this is how the menu looks like you choose a flavor something to mix it with an additional and a topper so i'm going to show you guys how they make the ice cream so here we are with the ice cream i really tried to show you people exactly where um the ice cream was the ice cream place was in diamond plaza but i couldn't because you know the vlogging rules in kenya and malls and stuff like that but i hope you guys um were able to see exactly where the place was so right now i'm heading to my friend's place in parkland since i'm already here i might as well just visit someone so yeah this is how the ice cream looks like i'm not sure if i've shown you guys Aki, okay, i'm so unfit i've walked just a short distance and i'm already panting anyways so yeah it's actually around lunch time i think i'm going to go grab some chicken kfc as usual and then i will head home so i'll see you guys then best 400 shillings i have ever spent 